This is going to be part six and could be the last one in the series of tutorials for completing the Cengage MindStap uh, Excel capstone project. In the previous part, which was uh, part five, we got as far as completing step 18. So now we're in step 19. So they tell us that there's a 2018 budget by department to pi too deep high chart, which is located in the range H23043, and they mean this one. See how it's H23043. It's this one. How do they want us to update it? Um, make the following changes. The first thing they want to do is change the data labels to display only the percentage and a label position of center. Hint, select reset label text to remove category names. What do they mean? Right now, there's two things they want to change. They want to remove the category names. So instead of like radiology, 16%, they wanted to say just 16%. And they want, because there's, you know, they're going to be smaller to be in the center. Let's do them one at a time. The best way I know to do this is to select one of them, which selects all of the data labels, and then right click and format data labels. Not format data series, but formats data labels. As they suggest, the first thing I will do is reset label text. It doesn't create any change, but as soon as I uncheck value from cells, it leaves only the percentage because only percentage is selected. Show leader lines I can leave on. Then if I scroll down a little bit, label position, center. So now I got both the changes that I wanted. To make sure, I will compare that to the screenshot in their solution. And here it is, just the percentages and in the center, exactly the way I got them. So I can say that this step is done. And that was 19A. Again, let me undo just to repeat these steps again. This is how it started. I clicked on one of the labels, so it selected all of them. I right clicked to go to Format Data Labels, which opened up this uh, pane on the right. I unchecked value from cells and reset label text, and uh, then changed the label position to center. Save. 19B is to reposition the legend on the right side of the chart. Now the legend is this, this is the legend. So I select the legend, and as soon as I do, I should get the pane here. If I don't, I can right click and uh, format legend, and it brings up this. And they want it not on the bottom, but on the right. Done. And does it look the same as their screenshot? Yes, it does. Good, save. And that completes step number 19, I believe. Yep. Step number 20. Upgrade the departmental budget comparison uh, combo chart in the range A15 G36 as follows. So first of all, let's find it. Here it is. That's the one that starts with A15 and G36. This is the one they want us to upgrade. Let me um, zoom in so we can see what we're doing. The first thing they want us to do is change the minimum bound of the right vertical axis to $40 million. So what are they talking about? First of all, what is the right vertical axis? It's this one. It's on the right and it's vertical. And you see how it's minimum right now is 60 million. What they're saying is we'd like to make the, million, uh, the, the bottom 40 million so it becomes more accurate with the uh, numbers we actually got. So I right click on it and I format axis and I got numbers here and look how right now the minimum says something like this here it says 60 millions but it's abbreviated 6.0 e7 why because the number with seven zeros is 10 million so it's six 10 millions 60 millions so to make it 40 million all I got to do is take, change that six to a four and then click somewhere else and then the minimum here is 40 million by the way if I just typed 40 million it would do the same thing 40 and then six zeros one two three four five six click somewhere else and it abbreviates it to 4.0 
e7. Four with seven zeros. Um, so that's a done. And then they want us to add title accesses to the chart, um, access titles to the chart. They want us to use the word uh, depart department budget as the left vertical one. So let me uh, copy it as is my habit. Uh, department budgets with a capital and a capital. Now, what are they talking about? They want these to have like little labels next to them. This is something we add to the whole chart. So I select the whole chart, not any one particular element. I go to chart design and here I add chart elements and what we're looking for is um, axis titles right here. Now we got a horizontal and a vertical. So we, I'm going to the primary horizontal one. Uh, no, that was not what I wanted. Um, they want us to add access titles. Did I click on the wrong thing? Yeah, access titles. Oh, sorry, I went to the horizontal. It needs to be the vertical one. Primary, vertical. Here we go. This is where I will delete the text that they have. It's a little tricky because it's like turned 90 degrees. And then this is why I copied because it's easier to paste as long as I make sure that I didn't enter any extra characters because that will see my answer is wrong okay they want department budgets on uh the left vertical line and total budget i'll copy that too without the bold and they want one here as well so i'm going to add chart element axis title um it's the secondary vertical which is the right one and here it is and i'll delete I'm hitting the delete or the backspace button right now. And as soon as it's done, I can paste, you know, on Mac it's Command V, and on Windows it's Control V, or I could just start typing whatever is uh, easier until I get to the word they wanted, which is total budget without any extra things. Now let me look at their screenshot and see if theirs looks like mine. And it sure does. A minimum of 40. And total budget here. And department budget here. Um, and that's it. Back to this. It looks exactly like it. Their style looks a little different. I wonder why, but are they asking me to change it? I don't think so. Let's see the instructions. Oh, they do uh, want me to do that. Um, so that's number C. Apply a shape fill to the chart using blue accent five lighter 80 percent so blue accent five 80 percent blue accent five lighter 80 percent i'm going to select the whole chart and then i'm going to go to chart design and is it under change colors no it's not is it under format here it is shape fill and i forgot the color blue x and five eighty percent this is blue accent one this is blue x and five down down to lighter eighty percent that's the one and now it actually looks like the screenshot it filled it up with that very very light blue again I found it under chart format shape fill and i selected the whole chart so it applies it to the whole chart uh and we're almost done because there's 21 steps and the last step is to delete the hiring worksheet which is the easiest thing to do there's a hiring worksheet right click on it and delete and save and this concludes all the steps in the uh, cengage mind app
Excel capstone. Good luck. This is time to submit. If uh, something you know was wrong, then you just fix it. Good luck.